Hey, Stanley, Jean. About you guys trying to help Ferrier open up. She just came by to file a complaint. She told me a couple of bullies won't leave her alone. That they keep bothering her about her mask. What in tarnation? Who are these jerkwads bothering my girl? You two, duh. Just go explain yourselves and apologize. So that's what this is all about. You were only trying to help. Sorry I misunderstood that. We're the ones who should be apologizing. Didn't mean to give you such a hard time. We're mighty sorry. But can't you at least give us a hint why you wear that iron mask? It's been nagging at me so much I can't sleep at night. Kinda like my ex-wife, but without all the snoring. <sighs> I was born out of wedlock. The product of a nobleman's illicit affair. My features bear a striking resemblance to his mistress. My mother. If I were to be seen in public, my lord father's noble indiscretion would be as plain as the nose on my face. Thus, he covered up the evidence to save face. Literally. I've been ordered to wear a mask for the rest of my life. That selfish prick. What? It's fine. Such is a bastard's fate. He didn't have to acknowledge me. Let alone raise me. I have to be thankful for at least that much. You... you lucky bastard! Literally! Excuse me? Oh, the irony of it all! It's like rain on your birthday, or, or paying for a freebie! I wish I had a backstory like that! You have quite a... unique definition of irony. And no one's ever called me lucky before. <laughs> you really are a funny man, Stan. That's the Barclay way. But your life takes the cake. As a comedian, I'm downright jealous of you. And I envy you both. You're free to live your lives without hiding who you are. Perhaps I'd see the humor in it too. If I could see it all in this thing. Huh? Ferrier, did you just make a joke? But seriously, I thought you accepted the mask as your fate. Unless you really do want to take it off. In which case, allow me.